Hi, you're 12. This is Mr. Lim again. This is the another video on um, alcohols and the oxidation of secondary and tertiary alcohols. All right. So this is what we're going to learn. All right. <clears throat> and so in general, secondary alcohols can undergo oxidation in two ways. Again, combustion like primary alcohols and oxidation with an oxidizing agent again, but instead of making aldehydes this time, they're making ketones. Okay, and we'll learn about ketones later on. So um, combustion is the same as the hydrocarbons, except we've got the extra oxygen. Again, let's just do one quickly. Combustion of 2-propanol. So 2-propanol, CH3, CH, O, H, CH3. Okay, so that's 2-propanol, propen, 3, uh, alkene, and then the 2-propanol uh, has the alcohol group in the middle. Okay, combustion with some oxygen. It's going to make some carbon dioxide and water. Okay, three carbons, three, uh, how many hydrogens? Four. Okay, so we currently have an even number of oxygens on this side, and there's no way that we can have an even number of oxygens on that side because we have only one of these oxygens inside there. So that's not going to work. So we have to not do that. Let's just go double up everything. Two, so that becomes six. That becomes, what's that? Uh, eight, 16. So this becomes uh, eight. Okay. And then now we have an even number of oxygens on this side and an even number of oxygens on that side. So that should be fine. Okay, so we just can work it out. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 8 is 20. We have 2 there, so we have 9 here. Okay, and again, an odd number there, which shows that we have at our simplest uh, whole number ratio for these uh, balancing equations. All right, um, so that's that one there. You can have a go at a combustion of 3-methylhexanol. We haven't got time. All right, so let's have a go. So when Alcohols, other than being combusted, they can be oxidized with an oxidizing agent. And remember, this is secondary alcohols. Okay, so ketones are structures in the middle of a carbon chain, a double bonded O to the carbon where the alcohol was. Okay, so this one here is the way that we write, where it's R C O R dash, where R and R dash are um, carbon chains variable length. So it could have something like this uh, C. C double bonded to an O and then C. So here R would be this carbon group and R dash would be that carbon group. Okay, so if they could be variable length, this carbon group, uh, the R with the, the R group without the dash could be, you know, too long if you really wanted it to. Okay, All right, and so they're variable length, but this is the ketone group here, right in the middle, wherever the alcohol was. Okay, so if we were looking at this one here, um, this would have come from a 2-butanol because the ketone group is on the second carbon of a 4-chain. Right, and that's where the, oxy, uh, the alcohol would have been. Right, so for each alcohol uh, group oxidized, there are two hydrogens lost and two electrons lost, very similar to the, um, to the uh, oxidation of primary alcohols. Okay. So let's try this, oxidation of 3-heptanol. And why did I make this such a long thing again? All right, so 3-heptanol, CH1, 2, this is the one with the, the alcohol on it. CH2, CH2, what am I up to? 5, CH2, 6, and 7. Okay, 3-heptanol. All right, it's going to form 2, uh, this, which is called 3-heptanone, all right, so CH2CO, so there's the ketone group, okay, and then CH2, 3, CH3, okay, again, you can condense those um, CH2s into uh, something and then bracket it, okay, so here, the R group on the left-hand side would be that much, the R group on the right-hand side would be that much, and so these R groups can be a variable length. And then you need to just add in those electrons. Okay, so if you hadn't noticed, we've gone, we've lost these two hydrogens. All right, and those are the two hydrogens there. And we're going to have two electrons as well. Ah, 
to E minus. Okay. And that's the oxidation of a uh, secondary alcohol into a ketone. Right. You can have a go at doing the oxidation of 3-ethyl, 4-5-dimethyl uh, uh, to octanol. Okay, that'll be fun for you. Mm. Let's do one more example. 2-propanol. Okay, we'll just show it in the structural formula here this time. Okay, goes to... Uh, here is that ketone group. Okay, and then also with two hydrogens and two electrons. Okay, where are those hydrogens? Uh, well, they would be the hydrogen, which would be there, and the hydrogen, which would be there. That's both of those hydrogens have gone, and now the carbon can form the double bond with that O there. All right. Okay. And then um, in terms of tertiary alcohols, tertiary alcohols can only undergo oxidation via combustion. They cannot undergo oxidation via a strong oxidation agent okay well actually well i guess oxygen is a strong oxidizing agent but they can only undergo combustion they don't form anything else um, when they uh, undergo oxidation okay so let's have a look at this one combustion of 2 methyl 2 propanol uh, 2 methyl 2 propanol so that is your smallest tertiary alcohol okay it'll have how many hydrogens? I don't know, a lot. All right, CO2 and H2O. Okay, how many hydrogens? Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so ten hydrogens, so we'll put a five here. Okay, um, we'll put a four here. All right. And so we have an uneven number of uh, oxygens here. All right, so I have 8 plus 5 is 13. All right, I have one oxygen already there. All right, so one oxygen already there, so I just need to have 12 from here, so I need 6 there. That yeah, doesn't look right. No. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that'll be right, because it's got 5 H2O, so that's the odd number um, to get you back to... The simplest whole number ratio. All right, and then you can try the combustion of two, four dimethyl, four octanol, just for fun. All right, that's it.